As we move on with our third week discussing the Midah of Haritzut, a character that is defined by the quality, the depth, the emotion that we put in all the mitzvot that we do, these week's parashiot definitely give us a new look and perspective on how to understand and how to integrate the Midah of Haritzut in all the Ma'asim Tovim and all the mitzvot that we perform on a daily basis. And I would like to start with a note, a remark, on the parashiyot that deal with Yaakov and Esav. As we all know, Parashat Vayishlach, this week's parasha, will be the ultimate encounter, fight, between Yaakov and Esav, which is so symbolic. In our days, as Chachamim tell us, Halacha, Esav, Soneh, et Yaakov, the fight is still on, the hatred is still there, is still present. And before we get to the fight itself, I think it's important to take some uh, step back and to realize that we find something very interesting about those two people, Yaakov and Esav at the same time. You know, Yaakov Avinu by himself, known as the Behir Avot, seems to be a person that is full of emotions. And the concept of tears will, ap- will, will appear in many of the episodes that Yaakov Avinu is involved by. Unlike Avraham Avinu, Yitzhak Avinu, which we don't recall uh, seeing them crying even once, or any other figure, important figure in the Tanakh in general, we don't really find them uh, crying, uh, crying at any point. Uh, we will find, we will discuss in a few minutes, obviously, uh, some exceptions, but overall, it's very rare to find in the Tanakh that someone is described as a, as a crier, as, a, as, a, as someone who weeps and really displays on the outside his emotions in such a strong, uh, and, uh, strong fashion way. So let's just have a little recap about these emotions, the, the tears of Yaakov Avinu. And we all remember that this actually started with Isav, his brother, his twin brother, Isav, cried when he lost the Berachot. The Torah tells us that Isav Harasha cried, really cried, when he realized that he lost all the blessings. Uh, Yaakov Avinu in the parasha after that also cries when he sees Rahel. He also, according to Rashi, realizes that he has no gifts to give her. He won't be buried next to her. So he has also a reason to cry and he again, shows his emotions on the outside. And in this week's parasha, Parashat Vaishrach, when these two emotional men are meeting uh, with each other, guess what happens? In the midst of this encounter, the Torah tells us, Vayishku, Vayivku, they cried. Now it's true, Hazar tells us that they cried for two different reasons. Yaakov Avinu cried because he was scared. Yeah, Esav Arashah uh, cried because he was in pain as he was trying to hurt Yaakov Avinu. But once again, we can see that the message is still there and uh, the idea of the tears are definitely displayed. And it's probably an important sign, an important point that the Torah is trying to show us because as we said earlier, the fight, the rivalry between Yaakov and Esav is something that is not over, it's something that is still happening in our days. And I believe that the solution is in the very special son of Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Avinu knows that the strongest weapon he will have is no one less but Yosef. Yosef at Sadiq, you know, the uh, opposite, the antonym of Isav Harasha. You know, Isav has the title of Harasha. Yosef has the status of Sadiq. So we understand that Yosef is really against Isav. And again, look. It's so interesting to see that Yosef at Sadiq is also displayed as a person who shows his emotions, a person who cries. He will cry when he reveals himself to his brother in Parashat Vayigash, right? Velo Yachor Yosef lehit apek. He can't hold himself and he, and he cries by himself in the beginning when he reveals himself afterwards. He cries with them and he will cry again in Parashat Vayichi when Yaakov Avinu already passed away. The brothers are almost asking for forgiveness in their own way. And Yosef Atzadik, who hears, you know, that the request, that demand, as imperfect as it sounds when we look at the text, Vayevk Yosef, Bedaberam Elav, the Torah tells us that Yosef Atzadik again will be crying. So a lot of tears, a lot of emotions are displayed, and it seems that it's around this encounter with Yaakov, Avinu, and Isav. And I believe that the Torah is reminding us 
that emotions like the ones of Yosef at Sadiq are the ones that we need to keep the fight on our side, to make sure that we are the winners, that we fight against Isav, especially against Isav, because we know who Isav is. Isav is maybe a tough guy. He has the Arbame or Ish, Aimo, and he has this army, and he's a scary person, and he's uh, that Jinji that, that, that has been killing and hunting for all his life. But yet, he's an emotional person. And if we try to translate that into the culture of Esau today, and we all know that the Hollywood culture that is out there, the Western culture, is all based on emotions. Hollywood is full of drama. There is so much drama and tears, and it's all about emotions, displaying those emotions on the outside. And our way to fight back, our way to respond to that, is to use the same weapon. Yosef at Sadiq, the son, the son of Yaakov Avinu, will remind us that the way that we will fight against Isa when we meet him is also to by crying, is also by showing emotions, by making sure that it doesn't, it doesn't stay on the outside. It's not superficial and it's not just as robots. We do the mitzvot and we feel the mitzvot. We learn Torah and we feel a connection with Borei Olam. And that is definitely what the Midah of Haritzut is all about, as we explained, to make sure that whenever we do anything, for the sake of Avodat Hashem, we do it all the way. We do it with quality. We do it with emotions. We show them on the outside. And this is why Yosef will be called a tzaddik. And as the Pasuk says in the Haftarah, Vehaya bet Yaakov esh, uvet Yosef lehava, uvet Isav lekash, vedaleku bahem vaachalum, velo yihye sari lebet Isav, ki Adonai diber. In other words, the Navi, Yeshaya, Hoshea, actually compares. Bet Yaakov, the house of Yaakov, to fire. Fire is full of emotions. A person who's on fire is a person who's so alive, who's so strong, who's so engaged and into what he does. Who bet Yosef lehava, that flame that never ceases to exist, like the Nishmat Israel. Who bet Isav lekash. The enemy, the opponent, Isav, is only straw, is nothing. And we will destroy, we will fire, our fire of Torah, our fire of mitzvot, will destroy completely Isav. And there will be no one left. This is our weapon. This is what the Torah is trying to show us through the beautiful parashio that we are reading. And just to conclude, I think it's also important to mention that the reason that Yosef turns out to be that kind of person is not just because of Yaakov Avinu. We also know about Rachel. Rachel Imenu. Rachel is the one that is also crying. As the Pasuk says, Rachel mevaka al baneha. She also cries for her children. She doesn't pray to Bore Olam. She doesn't just beg to Bore Olam to bring the Mashiach. She cries. It's real. It's something that is touching. It's something that is real. And this is why who will answer her prayer that is with sincerity and true emotions and may he also answer our prayers may he see our efforts to do everything that we do with with our heart with our emotion with our feelings we should be zochet to be true of the Hashem and to be able to see the Geulah Shelema very soon Amen Shabbat Shalom